What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, video number two, wherein we are going to talk about copy monitor for our uh, fire alarm system design in Revit 2020. Okay, so now that we have learned how to link our architectural model, so the next, uh, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to uh, copy and monitor the levels as well as the grids of our link model. Okay, so that just in case, for example, I want to hide my architectural model, so I will still be able to see my own uh, grids and also my own level. And aside from that, I also need to have the same level as my architectural link. That's the reason why we are going to use here the copy monitor. Okay, and I also want to have my own uh, grids aside from the grids of our link model. So the tool that we will be using here is copy monitor. So when collaborating on a project with other teams, so use the copy monitor tool to monitor and coordinate changes to important elements of the design. Okay, so we use the copy monitor tool when the architectural team, the structural team, and then the engineering team use Revit software. And also if each team must be informed of changes to levels, grids, and other elements. And aside from that, we also use copy monitor when the teams will link models to work on the same building design. So each team maintains its own edition of the model and uses Revit software to develop the design for their discipline. So each model is linked to the other models to share information about changes to monitored elements in the building design. Okay, so that's the reason why we're going to use Copy Monitor because we are using an architectural model. Okay, so to start off, we are going to uh, copy and monitor the grids okay so i want to have my own grid of course i can just simply go to architecture and then i can create my own grid there i can click that and then create it manually but aside from that i can also go to collaborate and then use the copy monitor i'm going to select select link since we are talking about link model so i'm going to click the link model just like that and then you will now see here your copy monitor tab so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select here copy and then since i'm going to select multiple grids so i'm going to check here on the options bar the multiple option and then i'm going to use crossing selection and then i only want to select here the grids so I'm going to go ahead and select filter selection and then I only want to select the grids. And also you will notice here that you can monitor the floors and walls as well. Okay, but that is what I don't want to do. I only want to select the grids. So I select the grids and then I select here. Okay, so I click that one. There you go. So now that I have selected all the all the grids, so I'm not going to select here. Okay, and then I'm going to select here finish to copy and monitor the grids. There you go. And then I select the copy monitor and then just finish it. So notice if I'm going to hover my pointer, I can now select the grid here. So this is now my own grid and I can click that is more uh, small circle to move up the grid like that see okay so I now have my own grids here so I click this so I click that is small circle then move it here so you see okay and then for this one this is grid number five so I'm going to click that square to show the bubble there and I do not want to show the bubble here or hmm, okay so I want to show the bubble on the left side okay let me just click this oops 
right? And then let me hide all of this. All right. Okay, so this is also copied. This is also copied. All right. And let me just fix this one. So I click that, then click that small circle to align that. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the visibility of my grids of the uh, grids on my link model. So to do that, I go to the visibility graphic overrides. Again, I go to Revit links, custom, go to the annotation categories, and then let's look for grids. Let's uncheck that. Let's select OK, select OK. And there you go. So it's now showing here the grids that I have copied. So I, this is now my own grid. So this is usually what I do. So I do not want to show here the grids of the link model. I just want to show my own grids here. Okay, so now that I have copy and monitor the grids, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to coordinate my levels between my MEP project and then the architectural project. So I'm going to go ahead and select the south elevation here to see all the levels. So as you can see here, if I click this, so this is the levels, my model. So if your project, you notice that the levels are a bit overlapping, so you can change the scale here. So let's say the original scale of this is 1 is to 100. So as you can see, the levels are a bit overlapping or actually overlapping so I'm going to change the scale to 1 is to 50 to see it nice and clearly now for this one by default when you create a project using the electrical default metric you will have two levels here you see so I'm going to click this again I'm going to click that small circle and then hold drag to put it here so as you can see I have two default levels. So what I want to do is I want to have all of the levels of the architectural model to my uh, fire alarm uh, design project because I only have two here. So basically what I want here is I want to have level one, which is I, I already have. I already have level two, but I want to have level three. I want to have level four. I want to have level five and then the roof level. For me to be able to do that, I'm going to use, again, Copy Monitor. Now, before that, let me just move this and then align that to level 2. So I'm just going to click this, move, pick. There you go. Okay, so they are now the same level. So don't worry, they are on the same level. It's just the architectural link model that I have here, they use Imperial units but they are just the same here I'm using um, metric unit all right so if I type here um, 18 or let's say I'm going to type 25 feet enter so that's the 25 feet now I'm gonna change that to 18 feet so 18 and then the feet symbol enter so it's just the same right so the value is 5486 now I want to have level 3, 4, 5, and then the roof. For me to be able to do that, I'm going to select Copy Monitor. I'm going to select Link. Select the Link model. And then after that, I'm going to use the Copy tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one. And then I'm going to click the level 3 up. Since I'm going to select multiple levels, I'm going to select here multiple. I'm going to check multiple. All right. And then I'm going to check. I'm going to click level three and then hold control. You will notice my pointer here will be having a plus symbol. So hold control and then click level four. Pan your drawing. Hold control again. Click level five and then the roof. And then after that, finish okay you click finish and then you go back to copy monitor and then you click finish there you go okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to click that level 
and then there is a small circle there i'm going to click that to drag to align with my other two levels there okay so there you have it so basically that's how you uh, copy monitor the levels of your architectural model because you really need to do that because you need to have the floor plans of the architectural model same to your uh, fire alarm system project so we want to have level 3 we want to have level 4 we want to have level 5 and then the roof okay so that's how you do the copy monitor on our grids and our level so see you on my next video on our next we are going to talk about uh, creating plan views okay so thank you for watching have a nice day